Well, hello, party people of the internet. How y'all doing? Well, today's already been a day. Had major acid reflux issues last night. So I had an absolutely terrible night's sleep. So much so that when I eventually got some sleep this morning, I ended up being a little late for going for my blood test. Ugh. Hey, buddy. Hi. Hey, well, last night I finished How to Survive in a Science Fictional Universe, and then this morning. Like I said, I was dealing with all the acid reflux, so I started the Atlas 6 on audio that far into it. Not very far, but nothing's really happened yet. So right now, I am just uh, sketching out like a TBR tracker type thing. I'll probably carry on listening to the Atlas 6, which is that way. I'll probably carry on listening to that while I faff this about, do a font and line art and all that stuff. And then should be starting on this bad boy for the Pleasure Your Shelf book club. Wyatt's in a mood because he's broken yet another tablet. He's just bit the screen and it's uh, gone crunchy crunch. So every single tablet barring my kindle why it has destroyed my mum gave us her old galaxy tablet but it's too old of our operating system so we're gonna trade it in at the weekend and put it towards getting a refurbished ipad and then we're gonna buy an industrial case that's just you know one massive shock absorber and hope that he doesn't destroy that one too <laughs> said I was gonna listen to my audiobook and do my bullet journal TBR reading thing. Wow my brain stopped working. I've just finished doing all the lettering for this and colouring in what I have. I did listen to some of At the Atlas 6 but yeah I hung out with Wyatt for a little while. He watched Hey Dougie and I watched some Law and Order SVU. Right now I'm gonna do my bunny title page for where I need to write my notes. It's probably 10 past four-ish. Didn't get much reading done or listening to the audiobook of The Atlas Six. I did get to part two. Again, not much has happened. We're having all set up at this minute, but I'm quite pleased with how my text came out. I used the same text that I did on my YouTube thumbnail. Obviously that's digital so that was a lot better. I got all these fonts from Da Font and because it's close to dinner time I'm gonna need extra concentration. I'm gonna put another episode of Law and Order on. <sighs> 
because that's just how I feel at the moment. Chris had great fun trying to find my uh, plastic shower boot yesterday. And because my legs got to stay in this bandage for another week, it's all padded and bulked up around the actual ankle. But I've got so much more range of motion in my ankle. It's absolutely insane how much more I've got. They only took the metal plate out. They've left some screws in. So, just started this, literally, on page four. And I just had to look up... It's not going to be detrimental to the story to tell you, but uh, let me just get it. Because I read it and I was like, huh? What? That made me think of the labial rubbing of the bonobo. Um, so, I looked that up and... <laughs> it's exactly how, it's, how it sounds. But... Uh, it's basically the sexual habit of certain chimpanzees. Uh, as you can see in my notes, it's like, <laughs> never thought I'd look up the sexual habits of chimps. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm already kind of like, what, 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 uh, fair enough. Maybe I just don't watch enough, like, Animal Planet to have known that the bonobo are chimps and you know that's that's what they did because i was just like what the feck is happening anyway now i know that tidbit of information i'm going to carry on reading the book careful with mama's bad leg hello what have you got all over yourself uh, that is my Branston pickle. Branston pickle? Yeah, he nicked my... Your sandwich? Your sandwich. Hi, butt. <laughs> Extreme close-up. Yeah, I'm vlogging. No, you're not. Yes, I am. <laughs> mm. Human pile on. Mm. Wyatt, what are you doing? Go that way, Wyatt. Go that way. <laughs> He's got his eyes closed. <laughs> Hi! So, yeah, I've just filled a little B-roll of, like, you know, Chris's, uh, my coconut chai tea, which Chris had brought me up with some breakfast. And then, smiley with smile smiles here. Decided to bust into the bedroom. I was going to update you guys. And then, a why it happened. <gasps> <laughs> so why it? Copyright strike. Yeah, he does. It's got nothing to do with you tickling him. I love why. I love why it's laugh. It's making it difficult for me to update you guys on anything though. <laughs> Last night, I only read like three chapters of Bunny and then decided to call at night. Then Chris's friends were online and they were playing Fall Guys and they let me join. So I had an evening of Fall Guys. I'm not good at Fall Guys by any stretch, but I do enjoy playing it. I'll insert a clip here of what Chris sent me earlier on. Like why I woke up about six o'clock this morning. Standard fare of late. Yeah. Why it's figured out how to turn on the taps in the bath and he is an absolute water baby just like me, fully clothed, in the bath. Chris was like, I didn't get there in time. So now we're looking into like getting like tap locks or putting another, getting another baby gate and putting it on the bathroom door. But he's just getting so fast. Plastic booty has been acquired. Hello. I laid here and put the audiobook of the atlas six on but none of it registered so i'm gonna have to go back and read it anyway i'm just having quite a high pain day thought i was doing fine but clearly i didn't pace myself very well probably gonna bust out my tens machine and electrocute myself and i'll check back in tomorrow
Hilarious Saturday, everyone. Ah, I'm vlogging. <laughs> that tea that you just saw me brew, I've ended up burning my leg with it. So, yay. Have tea. My leg also has tea. Why it was up at half three this morning. He is currently passed out on the other couch. Look at that little angel. I swear your kids are never so serene as when they are asleep. Haven't read anything today. My mum's here, as you probably heard. Do you want to say hi to the vlog, mum? Just say hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to veg and watch some TV while Wyatt has a nap. Well, hello. It is. About ten past four in the afternoon, my mum's gone home. Chris has managed to have a nap this afternoon. Clearly, you can see I'm back in bed. Tales of the boudoir. So I'm gonna get to read some of this. Good morning, everyone. Oh, look at Vera. Oh, she's my double chin. Need to give her the uh, spotlight she deserves. I did some reading last night. Not as much as I would have liked. I'm getting really confused with the Atlas 6. I don't know it's, if it's because I'm listening to it on audio. The audiobook is like a forecast audio. And whenever it gets to Callum, the person that's voicing him just has such a monotone voice that it sends me to sleep. I mean, it's great for sending me to sleep, but when that person is talking i have zero interest in what they're saying i think i've just made it to part three and literally still feel like i've missed part part of the story or half of what's going on because whenever callum's speaking my brain just wanders so i think i'm gonna have to definitely switch to reading it today it's sunday jen will be hosting reading sprints at 4 p.m my time and then princess i've completely forgotten at what time princess's sprints will be happening i think about half seven we'll definitely be getting some reading done when those sprints are happening guess who fell asleep after my two o'clock meds it was about uh half two 20 to f the 23 and my meds kicked in quite hard put on the audiobook of the Atlas 6, hugged my body pillow and I went to sleep and it was a very good sleep but I've missed the beginning of Jen's sprint. I have just checked in, they are sprinting currently now so I'll jump in momentarily. Hello. <laughs> when Jen's sprints are on I'm going to try and tackle Dungeon Critters just because I think I need to change pace bunny i haven't picked up today so i've realized that i might have a bit of drool on the side of my face eh it's all good we're all friends here it's cool what's a little drool between friends you know what i mean got a hi for paula paula is vlogging this week hi hello vlog touch my hair for the vlog uh -uh. what else what else i gotta be cool now because i'm on paula's vlog so vlog i keep saying blog i keep saying blog and it's not a blog it's a vlog but i have trouble with that word So here's Jenna. You can probably hear Jen in the background because I've got her sprints on the laptop. We're currently talking about food, so here's my food! It looks so good. I'm gonna eat my dinner now. Dinner was delicious. I've only read 40 odd pages, I think. 47? Yeah, I'm at page 47. But Princess's sprints start in like half an hour. I'm gonna 
just veg until princesses sprints and then carry on reading dungeon critters so i'll check back in with you guys later at 1 40 a.m he decided to wake up it's currently now 10 past two i went into his room and laid with him see if that'd help him go back to sleep nope so then i brought him into our room and that was also a bust chris has now taken him downstairs yesterday morning he was up at like 6 45 the day before that he was up at half three and then i think consistently he's been up about 6 a.m previous so feck knows what's going on with him right now good afternoon so didn't update you guys but didn't update you guys yesterday barring that like half one two o'clock stint in the morning because i didn't freaking read i didn't read yesterday i slept a lot sometimes sleep is the only pain management that works but today i really need to knuckle down and get bunny red so that's what i'm going to focus on today on sunday sprints i did finish dungeon critters i did gen sprints and then i did princesses sprints i only filmed gen sprints i didn't film princesses sprints because i felt bad because kind of like you know filmed a little bit and said like you're on the vlog and it felt like i put jen on the spot sorry about that jen i need to fill in my reading tracker and read bunny and take more notes Hello. Made decent progress today. I'm at chapter 18, which is pretty much like the halfway point in the book. I'm at part two. <sighs> really? What is there to say at this point in the book? If you've read it, you know what I'm saying. But basically, fits it the Shan, and I'm just as confused as anybody right now. Not a clue what's going on. So yeah, fun times. Nothing really exciting has happened today. I've just read, hung out with Wyatt, read some more. <laughs> um, tomorrow, I don't know how much reading I will get done because Chris and Bram are going out tomorrow. So it'll just be me and Wyatt hanging for most of the day. The only other exciting thing that's really happened is that is that there's an axolotl skin on Fall Guys and I had enough show books saved up from completing the uh much call it. I had enough show books saved up so I could buy my axolotl skin. I am so glad that I didn't just decide to spend it on the Sonic skin that came out when it was the Sonic event because I didn't like any of them. The Tails one looked a okay and the Eggman one looked okay but the Sonic one looked kind of crap and the Knuckles one looked really dodgy so I saved my money, well I saved my show books and I managed to get my ax an Axolotl skin so that is me chuffed. So yeah I'm kind of tired but I think I might get another half hours reading in see if i can make any sense of it probably not but let's do it catch y'all tomorrow so it is currently quarter past one in the morning wyatt woke up at 1 a.m yes hi buddy and seen as chris and bram have a prior engagement technically today i'm on night duty I haven't brought any of my books downstairs. I mean, I do have the Atlas 6 on the audiobook, but I don't know if I'm going to get any of that read. Do you want to come say hi? He's like, nah, leave me alone. I've got juice. I've got Dougie on, on my new Kindle tablet. How are you? Leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> what you doing, crazy baby? <laughs> are you having fun? How what? Last night he was up to one till like half five in the morning. Then he crashed, took him to bed. Well, called Chris 
well, Chris up and Chris came down and took him to bed and then I went to bed. And then he woke up at half seven. He is full of beans right now. Hi hey, kids. Chris and Brown have left for their day. Are you coming to say hello? No, oh, ow, oh, 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 oh. Hi. Mm. <laughs> no. Another kiss. Mwah! Thank you for kissing. He is very affectionate. You just don't know whether it's going to be kisses and hugs <gasps> or nips and scratches. <laughs> the elder boy should be back around four, five-ish, I think. So that's when I'll probably get some reading done. Chris and Bram are home. I'm spotting some new OR wounds. It has been a day. My back is still killing me. Chilling and hanging out with Wyatt has not helped any with that. I think I'm gonna chill out a little bit, maybe have a couple of games of Fall Guys, Just Cause, and then get down to the nitty gritty of finishing Bunny. Sorry for the freshed scalped look. Why it was up again at half one this morning. And again, he crashed at five. I've got to go to the hospital now to get the bandages off my foot. So I'm all home from the hospital now. Wyatt is full of beans, aren't you, bud? Oh, is that you? Hi. He's like, I was, but now I'm on camera. How dare you think I'm a performing monkey? So I've got this lovely bandage plaster that they gave me at the hospital, but I said I could take it off when I get home. So there we are, it's pretty much the same, obviously, they opened up over the scar before, you can see I've got full range of motion, just need to have a pedicure and uh, get rid of my dry skin. So I'm back in bed, my sanctuary. I finished Bunny last night, yeah! I still don't know how I feel about it. I'm going to try and collect my thoughts and write down some discussion questions for when we do the live. Uh, if we figure out what days, what date we're going to do, we'll put date and time here. The, mm, con. So, yeah, I'm just going to lay here and get my brain working. If you were present on Princess's sprints on sunday we post to people that were in the sprints what would they like to read for the pleasure at your shelf book club and it was kind of unanimous that we would read the daughter of dr Moreau by i'm just gonna put the picture here because i will absolutely murder the pronunciation of her name the story of the island of dr Moreau is a very interesting one in my opinion, so I'm um, interested to see her take on the daughter of Dr. Moreau. But yeah, we'll be reading that for September. I guess I'm just going to wrap out the vlog here and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye! <laughs>